Hello there, viewer, and welcome to another SOS reading. So, viewer, this is a general reading. However, it is someone's oracle messages. So either it's going to resonate for the most part or it won't. Uh, so if you find the messages don't resonate for you at all, just either click off or uh, feel free to check out any of the other past oracle messages or um, any of the other videos. Those are all timeless. Okay, viewer. So there's a situation here where you guys, um, okay. There are hidden realms for you, viewer, to really connect to, especially when it comes to being divinely guided to situations, circumstances, and people that are meant to really be on your path here. There's a situation, viewer, that spirit is saying you have access to really open up something where it, where there is hidden realms, you have the ability to access these hidden realms. You have this um, capability and this connection to your ancestors, guides, and the spiritual realm here. So this is time for some of you guys to really create that conscious awareness and maybe, um, you know, use your intention and have that time uh, where you guys can voice any concerns or open up communication with your angels, with your guides, or with your higher self, whatever feels right to you, okay? Um, there's answers to solutions that you're needing here. This is why Spirit's showing us this card here. Shield your energy. Look beneath the surface. Again, this is something about, you know, some of you guys, you may be feeling very heavy. There may be something going on. Some of you guys just need to take care of your energy field or your energy completely um, and shield yourself. But look at this message. Look beneath the surface. So then you're being the first thing you're being told is hidden realms so again what i was saying is there's some type of answers solutions clarity uh that's going to come through this the hidden realms for you okay this is why whatever is um whatever is showing up in your environment um spirit is saying you need to look be beneath the surface of things here um, some of you guys, you may be going through a, a, a purification process here. I do see a situation for some um, really taking a leap of faith and having a new adventure here. So it's like you want to really lighten your load, lighten your energy. Whatever you got going on, viewer, you have, you have this um, beautiful, massive connection, a very strong connection to ancient ancestors, guides, ascended masters here. Okay, they are, they're going to give you some type of guidance, some type of clarity through the hidden realms. So make sure you do uh, shield your energy and protect your energy. Okay, let's see what else comes out for you, viewer. What else for the viewer? Some of you guys, there's something about um, getting clarity in the mind as well here. Earth guide, your sacred calling upon this planet is to simply love and to be loved. So we're coming back to a situation of being at the energy of love. A lot of you guys will resonate as a guide to others or you feel you feel this, you know, you're, you're just somebody that people do look to as a guide, as a healer, um, as someone that does uh, give good solutions to problems for some of you guys, or you're just able to listen to others uh, compassionately, whatever it is. A lot of you guys are these earth angels, light workers, healers, empaths, etc., etc. This is just a reminder. Your job right now is to just simply be loved and to be loved, to be loved. Okay, let's see what else comes out for you, viewer. What else for the viewer? Some of you guys may come across somebody here in your material realm. Uh, it could even be kind of a Hierophant energy or High Priestess energy or Magician energy I'm getting. Someone that, or maybe even Hermit energy. Someone that is um, highly, in, highly uh, spiritual um, and knowing who they are, knowing uh, the right things to do, um, knowing how to guide themselves and others. Um, so that m might be a message for some of you guys of really coming across someone on your path that really um, puts you 
or makes you feel more confident in the direction that you're going or wherever you're at, okay? So, wow, we got this card of retreat. And that's funny, I was just talking about Hermit. Uh, I was seeing the Hermit card here, and this could definitely resonate with Hermit energies. Maybe some of you guys, you definitely have Earth um, in your chart, in your placements here, maybe Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we got this message about retreat, never underestimate. Oh, listen to this viewer. Never underestimate the healing power of a quiet moment. Some of you guys just may need to get a quiet moment, okay? Because some of you guys may be having other ener energies distract you or you may be pulled into things that might be distracting you, whatever this is. Um, there's something about light, being very light right now. Um, you know, and something about frogs is they know, you know, they know they need to go back into water and replenish and recharge themselves. So there may be something here with um, water uh, with you, viewer, and um, getting the energy or the healing from maybe even um, baths, salt baths, um, swimming or something, just something with that. We may be going through um, an emotional purification process as well, okay? But remember this message that we got about this hidden realms here. And so this is just more confirmation that you're going to get the power that you need, the healing that you need, the solution that you need, the balance that you need in some type of quiet moment. And it doesn't, the thing that I'm getting here, viewer, it's not going to take you very long. You don't need to spend a half hour, an hour. It could even literally just be five minutes here and there, but it might start um, easing something for you. And you may spend more than five minutes um, you may be, you know, spending, um, you might be finding yourself easily spending 10 to 15, 20, 30, whatever minute, however you need to really just create um, a, a quiet time and place for you, okay? Whether you use it for meditation or just use it for intention or just try to use it to really um, get away from distractions as well, because some of you guys, you may be having a lot of energies on you too, as well from other people. So it is important to shield your energy, okay? Uh, let's see, what else for the viewer? I do feel for a lot of you guys though, viewer, there's something very healing with you and water. So I just feel there may be this thing about earth and water, you know, connecting to earth elements and water and just, um, I think it will just help cleanse, purify and recharge you and ground you at the same time here. Um, I definitely feel that you are right at, you guys are really, the viewer, you're, you're getting ready for some type of a new adventure or some type of new, um, something is expanding, okay? Something is expanding in your life, in your reality. So don't be afraid of rising tide. It will soon recede. You hear this? Stay determined right now. So you guys may be going through emotional upheavals and challenges um, or just, you know, there could be things going on in your environment as well. Whatever this is, Spirit's reminding you it's going to recede, okay? So don't be afraid of the, the rising tide. It will soon recede. Let's see, what else for the viewer? Yeah, you're a star seed. I was telling you guys, and look, we have meditation right, right here. I was just talking about that earlier too. Uh, light workers, healers, empaths, star seeds. I mean, whatever you guys want to call yourselves, raise the vibration. See, raise the vibration of the planet through your radiant, loving light. So, viewer, this is confirmation that you guys are really meant to um, raise the vibration of the planet just by being you. So we need to come back to this place of um, just loving ourselves and loving what's happening, loving our journey, whether it's uncomfortable or not uncomfortable, you know, comfortable. We got to look at the lessons and the blessings because you guys are moving forward into something that is going to really reveal um, your true destiny. It's going to reveal um, a part of you uh, that is, is going to be so new and refreshing. So don't doubt your path. Don't doubt that you guys uh, definitely are um, important part of the process. You're important 
on this planet, you're important. Whatever you, you do, I don't care how big or small it is, it is, it is worthy and it's right, okay? You guys are star seeds. You're meant to plant beautiful seeds of love and light on this planet and it raises things up here. So we have meditation. Take a moment to connect to the source through quiet, reflective meditation. So viewer, you're getting like three messages about creating that sanctuary that or, or you know, using consistency or determination to just kind of um, unplug so that you can recharge and um, it's just something that's really imperative for you right now in your energy. So let's just move on and see what else comes out for you, viewer. Some of you guys may be kind of sitting at a four of cups energy or even four of swords energy uh, dealing with things, especially when it comes to emotions, maybe when it comes from the past here. Um, let's see what else comes out for you though. Yeah, balance is going to be restored. Soul fragments. If you guys are feeling t any type of separation or uh, fragmented here in the soul or feeling incomplete, pay attention to what the angels are giving to you on your path right now. They may be showing you angel numbers. They may be showing you, um, you know, little things uh, that kind of light up on your in, in your environment. There may be things that kind of come to your vision through dreams or through a medit med uh, meditative state here through the hidden realms. So I'm getting um, temperance energy actually with this card. Some of you guys may have fire in your chart. Uh, you don't have to. Spirit's letting you guys know there there is um, gonna be harmony where there was discord. Okay, let's see what else for you, viewer. What else for the viewer? There may be something here with really reclaiming the power of your mind right now because I know through challenges and uh, changes, it could really trigger the mind to spiral and sometimes it can get really out of control, right? Um, and then it starts triggering our emotions and then we just, we just feel like, wow. So there may be something here just to remind you, viewer, of how powerful your third eye is, how powerful meditation is for you, um, how, how powerful it is to, um, you know, take care of your energy and your, you know, your energetic, um, your energetic fields, your aura and all of that, but also just take care of your energy, your physical energy as well. Don't make sure you don't put yourself in situations that drain you. Okay, so I was really getting this message about you. There's some type of expansion happening, maybe some type of journey, something that there's some kind of something new here. So we've got this card of planning. Kind of get two of wands energy actually with this card of planning fire signs. Look, we have difficult times. Let's see what this says. Now is the time to lay down the foundations for uh, your future. Financial gains are more than likely. Um, so there's something here with about, you know, there's something here about moving forward or maybe just kind of uh, contemplating. Maybe we do need to set a little time to sit in uh, quietness so that we can get clarity on what wants to be manifested or what needs to um, be decided or, you know, whatever, whatever is going on with you. Um, I just see something about coming out of difficult times here. Remember, balance is going to be restored. So it's going to take some type of planning, some type of determination to really overcome difficult times. Listen to this viewer. You've got this message about shield your energy. Look beneath the surface. Look, be on your guard against chaos as unforeseen perils or emotional or emotional upheaval are foretold. Okay. So spirit is saying, viewer, if you start maybe looking towards the future here, you start planning, um, making decisions, whatever it is, first you need to connect with the hidden realms, with your, you know, with your source, with your higher self, your angels and your guides, but you guys are going to overcome difficult times. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay. Because I feel a lot of you guys are in this energy um, where you are kind of uh, going through some uncomfortable upheavals um, internally, externally, whatever it is. Let's see. What else for the viewer?
Yeah, I told, yeah, you are going through a purification process. So remember, um, viewer, don't be too hard on yourself. Okay, really don't, some of you guys just need to hear that. Don't be too hard on yourself. There was another, there was a message here. Yeah, listen, look at this purification, right? And you have this card, shield your energy, look beneath the surface. But I was talking to you about this because I was seeing this frog as a card of purification. So remember, you know, just remember this. Don't be afraid of the rising tide. Okay, it will soon recede. So if you guys are feeling incredibly emotional or lots of upheavals it's going to recede spirit's just reminding you it's just this is part of a normal process okay viewer but this really is signifying you guys are going through a purification process and that that can be very uncomfortable but it is to restore balance okay and again look at this viewer more um water so it definitely gets something with you and water right now what else for the viewer I was I picked up four of cups energy so viewer there's something about staying focused and, and determined look at this we've got this card of determination and I already put put and already was uh, showing you this don't be afraid of the rising tide anyhow here's the eight of Pentacles viewer you're doing something consistent and right here at, at least when it comes to perfecting something or something that's very important to you or um, some of you guys and a lot of you guys this is about your work and your wealth your abundance um, there's a lot of focus here so stay determined um, don't let anything distract you especially um, what I want to say is there may be a need to just not get uh, too distracted um, you know with the with the emotions and the purification process um, and maybe this is a message about staying committed and focus on what you need to uh, stay focused on because this is going to really help balance something out for you okay um, viewer also there's something here I'm seeing for some of you guys where when, when it comes to a missed opportunity or a situation where you've been disappointed in love there may be a situation for some of you guys where there's a refocus there's a recommitment there's a working towards something here there may be something significant with a house or a home uh, for some of you guys as well okay cancer energy is coming up water energy anyways um cancer pisces scorpio virgo capricorn and taurus energy is also coming through here um i want to just get a little bit um viewer i want to get a little bit more about this eight of pentacles for the viewer let me get a little bit more with this eight of pentacles okay um, because i see something about you viewer really mastering something um really making progress as well and maybe for some you know uh it's kind of helped some of you guys overcome some of the emotional disappointment by focusing on your work or focusing on what's really important to you that you're doing um that's making some type of tangible results for you let go of fear so wow when it for some of you guys when it comes to your work or when it does come to some type of a uh, commitment or progress you need to let go of fear it's you're working with the divine uh, there's some type of change that's happening for you because it's the divine will here um, some of you guys may be really feeling illuminated um, on a certain work path or a certain uh, soul purpose here uh, so stay committed right and stay committed and determined to let go of fear because you guys I what, what I really get is you guys are really doing some kind of um, significant spiritual mastery within yourself here soul mastery here that cup that cup you guys yeah i see you guys have been disappointed in in uh partnerships or love here maybe some of you guys are maybe feeling a little bored with something here but i do feel that you guys have felt disappointed in the past here look up to the heavens viewer there's this cup of love there's a cup of emotional fulfillment there's something here 
that is not missed, okay? Let go of fear. Let go, for some it has to be letting go that, you know, you've missed something here. Um, let's see what else comes out for you, viewer. What else for the viewer? And I do feel for some of you guys, you need to let go of fear when it comes to something that you're doing and you're doing well at, okay? There's no doubt that you're not, there's just no doubt in my mind, viewer, that you're not doing well. Just keep continuing this path right now. What else for the viewer? Moon card. And it, <laughs> right on top of the purification and the uh, balance will be restored. But yeah, maybe some of you guys are going through this. Nine of Swords energy. Oh, viewer. <laughs> Again, you're going to have victory. Some type of major challenge, especially when it comes to the mind and when it comes to stress and anxiety, you guys are going to have some type of crazy major triumph. And I also see here for some of you viewers, there's something very significant about you being this guide on planet Earth right now. Um, and really doing your purpose and staying committed onto your path with you and, 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 and the divine here um, and really um, shining bright like a star viewer. You are a star seed. I mean, and I've got, we've got the six of wands here. So viewer, I'm seeing where you guys are feeling. I feel for some of you viewers, you're definitely feeling like you're going through the dark night of the soul. You're feeling... Yeah, remember, remember, viewer, don't worry. This is a cycle and it's going to recede. The high tides are going to recede. Look at this, viewer. You can't, this is so, I just was noticing. Look, look at the waterfall on this moon card. Pisces energy is coming through and look at the, this. Okay, so spirit is um, letting you guys have a glimpse at what's going on. These fears and emotional upheavals, these stresses and anxieties, they're surfacing so that they can be purified. Just allow it to ease, allow it to be what it is, okay? It's actually going to purify and guide you guys into the right path here. You guys are going to be illuminated through this process. You're going to see very clearly, okay? No more feeling haunted by the past, no more worried about the future, no more regret, no more whatever it is. It's purifying, viewer, it's purifying here. And this is what I want to show you. Look at the sun energy on this card here with the six of wands. Look at that, that sun and that power. Victory, viewer, strong. And look at how strong this soldier, this warrior is. Look at the vitality here. Bright, bright, bright. Okay. So remember, viewer, your strength right now is knowing what the process is going, what, what, what this process is about right now, okay? Wherever you're feeling darkness, wherever we're having something, um, you're going to have victory, okay? What else for the viewer? Fire sign is showing up, viewer. Yep, a desire to change. So see the beauty in the life. There are two paths ahead. Uh, <clears throat> didn't I say? Yeah, planning. I said two, two of wands energy is showing up here um, with this card. And look, you guys do have a partnership. There is some type of significant partnership for some of you guys. And for some of you guys, this partnership is a significant love union. It's a... <clears throat> It's definitely a sacred commitment um, that is brought to you by the divine here. Some of you guys, there there may be a uh, an, uh, there may be an option between um, for some of you guys there may be an option between lovers here. But let's just get more about what's going on, okay? So what's happening, viewer, is you guys are really going to need to retreat and take care of your energy right now. You guys are just going to have to um, remember this, this, uh, whatever worries or stresses we're going through, whatever is happening here, you, uh, 
you guys are gonna know it's going to calm down, right? And also remember, some of you guys, you have to take care of your energy as well because you um, definitely could be picking up other people's energies as well, okay? And it could just be more for you to have to purify. But your job is to try to stay as light as possible, viewer. This is gonna be your point of power here. Um, but you guys are really attracting a divine path, okay? And I do see a situation where some of you guys, this is the thing. Sacred divinity, there are two paths ahead. Now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. You guys, this viewer, we got this eight of coins here and it literally came with the divine will. <laughs> let go of fear. So whatever the deal is here, you guys have to let go because you guys really truly are on a divine path. Spirit is spirit is already have something spirit has something planned for you here. Okay, but you guys need to start planning and deciding things for your foundation and your future and it opens up something and it opens up for a lot of you guys. It's going to open up a partnership. Okay, it's going to open up some type of connection that is very significant here. All right, let's see. So I want to show you this. We've got eternal union, new love is forming. Some type of energetic bond has already been made here. So it's forming in the material realm, right? You guys can't see what's happening though. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot, of, a lot going on. There's a lot of darkness here. We can't even see anything because we don't understand. We don't know what's going on. You guys aren't, you don't need to figure out what's going on. You just need to know what's going on right now as a purification process and look at it as that, okay? Because you guys are um, coming into such uh, power and grace and triumph. Something is going to, uh, something is going to really light up on your path. Now look at this. See the beauty in life. Light, living light energy. And this is, this is you. You're literally going to be this living light energy. Focus on the light right now, viewer, okay? Focus on the light. Focus on your strengths. See you guys really overcoming major challenges here. I want to see what else comes out for you, uh, too, viewer. So we have this desire to change, this awakened spirit. This is what's happening with you, viewer. You're, there's something new. There's something firing up within you. This is why this energy has to be purified out of you so that we can ignite this new energy, this desire of change here. And look at this. See, look at this. Once we've purified, we've, we've, um, we've done what we've had to do. We've gone through this cycle. It lights up this path for you. That's so divine into a, a, a significant situation for a lot of you guys. Okay. Now for those of you guys that are okay with love and you already have a partner and that's great. You're, you're definitely coming into, um, a union here with spirit. That is definitely, um, your purpose. Um, and you've been guided towards this. Okay. And so you've got this kind of marriage and union with your, your, your greater purpose and spirit. Sorry. I'm just trying to get these in the camera here. Okay. Let's see what else for you viewer. What else for the viewer? look emotional challenges so I do yeah I mean this is just more about what's happening here you guys are gonna have resolves with these emotional challenges here just clear and activate spirit saying create a sacred space some of you guys don't have a, a sacred space or you're not utilizing it um, you know and that, and I get that because sometimes we're, when we are in this when we are feeling fragmented, when we're feeling unbalanced, it can be very challenging viewer <laughs> to want to set intention and create and, you know, clear and activate space. Something new is happening within your soul. Those uh, viewer, you're cycling out something and something is being activated within your soul. This is why you've gone through this purification. You guys are really up leveling um, yourself and you're going through some type of very uh, sacred process here. So you guys are going to uh, be able to get the energy that you need. You're going to activate something new here, viewer. So clear your energy, right? Because literally what I'm seeing is 
something shook you, something got gotcha, you, but it's like spirit saying, you guys have so much power viewer that you're, you, you just need to reset yourself, recharge yourself, retreat for some of you guys, and you will find your power back. You're going to find your strength. You're going to get the solution, the clarity. You're going to see the paths ahead and know exactly which one to take. Either way, it's, it's a sacred call for you. And it's calling you towards some type of sacred eternal union. What else for the viewer? This landed right on purification and we have burnout. Purification, right? Burnout. Okay, listen. Oh, look at this viewer. I want you to see something here for some of you guys. So we have this card of the eight of coins, which is the yeah, eight of pentacles, and it really speaks of work. Okay, listen. For some of you guys, listen. So your hard work will uh, see results, but some of you guys, your health needs to be maintained. So check in with your doctor, dentist, and health professional and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Remember this thing about, I was talking to you guys about your energy and shield your energy, um, energetic and your physical here. So don't get drained, you know, some of you guys are getting drained or burned out. This is why we may need to reassess and plan. You may need to kind of, maybe create a new boundary or you know take on less or just schedule something or do something that benefits you um, and your purpose here because you're not meant to feel burnt out okay sometimes yes we do get burnt out but um uh, but i want to just bring something up there's something about prosperity and and really getting great results for what you guys are doing so this is just more um confirmation and i was picking this up with you guys being very successful, something's gonna happen with your work or your purpose or something that you're doing, viewer, that's going to gain some type of um, recognition or you know, really just moving up or maybe getting promoted, um, getting more money, getting more, you know, whatever it is, popularity, fame, I don't know. However, you guys are just, you guys are gonna see the results. However, you know, not all of you guys, you know, don't need to, you know, don't take this literally, but if you do feel that you wanna make an appointment with your doctor, dentist, or health professional, do it. You're being encouraged to do so. And maybe they can help you uh, create a healthier routine because maybe for some of you guys, whatever challenge you went through, it really made you wanna focus um, on work uh, to help you guys process what, what, whatever, what was going on here. Okay, so just take care of your energy, but just more confirmation that you guys are um, really achieving a, a success, a, a level of success when it comes to uh, what you're doing here. Okay, what else for the viewer? All right. Oops. And maybe that might be a sign for some of you viewers, if you're not feeling burnt out, this that may be just a forewarning that you could end up getting burnt out. So just take care of your energy. Stillness, my goodness, how many times are we gonna get this? Okay, stillness, reflect on this moment with love, kindness, and compassion. So there's just this energy of trying our hardest to be in the present moment and really try to maintain an energy of love. So you may just need to focus on things that can help you focus on love or help you focus on what's healthy for you, what makes you feel uh, compassionate. Um, okay, so more about stillness and quiet time, uh, creating a sacred space for you. Um, and I feel that you guys are gonna get that, that recharge that you need, that reset that you need for some of you guys. Oops, okay. What else for the viewer? Some of you viewers might be seeing 444s a lot or 333s a lot or 222s a lot. Um, astral travel, caution needed. Let me get a little bit more with this for the viewer. 
Yeah, because again, this is just telling me your abilities to do astral travel or to connect to the hidden realms. But because some of you guys, you need to be aware that you guys, you know, maybe you're feeling fragmented and maybe some of you guys are picking up other energies. You do need to use caution. You do need to purify, clear your energy out. Remember, look, clear and activate. Create conscious space, okay? Pretty much got the answer, but I'll get another one anyways. Let's get another one for the astral travel. Some of you guys are getting ready to do some type of travel, okay? Uh, or journey or uh, something here with movement. Let's see. Not all of you, but some. Oh, my gosh. Okay, yeah. So you really do need to use caution, caution needed and also viewer. There's something here. <clears throat> Interesting caution needed shield your energy being led astray by some of you guys just need to know Maybe I'm just gonna bring this up for some of you guys, but listen to this uh, side message here secret temptation uh, Being led astray now. I'm gonna bring this up for some of you guys not all of you because I've got kind of a, a Different scenarios and stories here, but there may be something here for some of you guys um, that, you know, you want to make sure that you're tapping into the highest energy that's good for yourself and others involved. And you don't want to get involved in situations where you're trying to manipulate or control energies, um, cause that will never work in your favor. Um, and I just felt like saying that for some of you guys, because you may be led astray by trying to, uh, do some type of intention or some, t something that can, you know, we may be trying to manipulate energies and that's just going to lead you off. Um, really, it's a, it's a misleading thing when you, it's a misleading thing when we're feeling like we can control an outcome, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So just some of you guys just need to be aware of that, but I do see some of you guys, you really do also need to create the sacred spaces time so that you guys can get um, some type of information where you do need to be cautious, right? Where you might lead up to a path here. Cause remember some of you guys have to hear this. Some of you viewers are going to have two paths ahead. One could lead you astray possibly if you're not using discernment and caution, right? This is why some of you guys need to be careful not to react or do anything. If we're going through um, you know, a purification process because we are purging out and going through a process of, um, like a self actualization, a very sacred self actualization process here. So you're really transforming yourself and, and, and getting rid of the old, um, and, and clearing and activating a whole new space here. Okay. So just be aware of that. Let's see. Oh, let's just leave them up here. Okay, what else for the viewer? All right, that's it for those. So let's find out. Um, what does the viewer need to be aware of? What does the viewer need to be aware of? Oh, also, um, viewer, I just wanted to say don't, I think I said it already, don't act out of impulse or um, act out of like, you know, high and in, high intense emotions either because it could lead you astray here. So viewer, you need to be aware of to declutter. Now that's interesting because I was talking to some of you guys about trying to stay very light as possible and we're getting these messages about purifying. So some of you guys may want to simplify your life. You may want to get rid of old things or declutter things. So let's just, let me read this. Declutter your life, let go. Oh, listen to this viewer, let go of correspondence, objects and people you no longer want someone will hurt oh viewer i don't like reading this but you know what spirit's given us this card so i'm going to read this listen to this someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of themselves that you may wish to avoid now for some of you guys you already had this revealed to you you already know that you you need to avoid them and some of you guys remember what i said you got it. You have to use this discernment right now. Take care of your energy because when you guys take care of your energy and you are in the state of love and compassion, you're not, you're not going to attract a situation that is going to mirror, uh, discord. You're going to, uh, you're going to attract a person, a situation that's going to mirror 
compassion, love, because there may be something here for some of you guys to use discernment because, you know, there may be a situation uh, that someone, remember caution, difficult times here, okay? So just use caution here. You're kind of getting forewarned here, viewer, about a situation and a potential possibility. Um, and I'm going to say it's going to be highly likely for those of you that come up against a situation where you have, uh, you come up against like maybe two people or two paths here, okay? So your point of power, again, is to connect to your source, connect to your higher self, connect to clearing, activating your space, understanding that whatever you're going through, this emotional upheaval and chaos is going to cycle out. And it's just, it's just a normal feeling that you're processing. You guys just stay focused because you guys really are going to um, get so much strength, strength and victory out of this. You're going to come out a, a winner, okay? So you need to be aware of to declutter, and that's just kind of going along the lines with this clear and activate. So objects. Now, I just want to go back, you know, and I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to be like, oh, some of you guys might be, you know, trying to coerce energy or manipulate energy, but maybe some of some may need to hear this, okay? So for those of you, not all of you, it's just a small, uh, I'm getting a small percentage, but, you know, there was just something that hit me when it said objects and people you no longer want, okay? And again, because you just focus on what it is that you want want in your life, but it's 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 you can't label or put it on like say this is this is exactly the person that I want. It has to be this person. Um, it could ha you know I don't know how to explain this. Let me let me let me do it in more simpler terms here. It's more like being very general. Um, it's more like what is the feeling like when you do feel connected with someone or you do feel uh, trust you know that you can trust someone and focus on just those feelings of what that feels like um, and then you allow the universe to bring that to you and it's going to be the same with like your work and how you feel about money too. focus on what it what feels comfortable for you and then you allow the universe to bring it to you in the shortest quickest most harmonious way that the universe can but you've got to declutter you've got to clear some kind of space here okay um and it can always it can always be emotional and hard to let go of things as well so you know spirit has sympathy for you but spirit is break, breaking something for you spirit's clearing some kind of space and wants to bring you something totally new um and that's healthy and good for you okay so let's find out how is spirit helping you how is spirit helping the viewer? How is spirit helping the viewer? That's funny. <laughs> Commitment. And I was talking about that with the eight of coins here. So let's read this. Look at this. Oh, it's so it's okay. Listen, viewer, there's going to be for a lot of you guys, um, spirits helping you guys get a commitment, not only with your work and security here, but also with a significant partnership. And it's going to be love for a lot of you guys. Listen, oh, this is so sweet. Viewer, huh, viewer, spirit is saying, Spirit is really helping you guys with commitment. A commitment is indicated around love. It specifically is saying love, viewer. Um, okay, wait, excuse me. Let me start over. I got excited here. Love and or business. Now, I was talking about that anyway, so it's just more confirmation. Listen, a commitment is indicated around love or business. It will make you feel better. You're going to feel better. And what did I say, viewer? There's something about commitment here too, right? And that, that's energetically, right? So we're, we're staying committed to ourselves. We're staying committed to purifying ourselves, staying committed to our passions and our work. And you're going to mirror that and have that uh, reflect into out of your, you know, that's going to reflect in your material realm as well. So yeah, you guys, um, and we can just, I can just tell you that commitment and love is here. It's forming, it's happening. Okay. This is what spirit's helping you with. Let's find out a potential. Actually, I want to get one more for what else Spirit's helping you with, okay? Uh, what else is Spirit helping the viewer with? Well, I know it's fortune because at first, you know, we're doing these fortune um, cards. So, and I was picking up fortune for a lot of you guys, but let's see. Oh, major life change. 
Yeah, I mean, we can see that because there's a purification happening here. Spirit's helping you guys with a um, major life change. Listen, time the time is right for major life changes, changes as a new lifestyle or location brings great joy and a trouble-free existence. Yeah, some of you guys are getting ready to relocate or move. Um, but either way, if you're not rel relocating or moving, some type of new lifestyle change is going to bring you some type of ease and comfort. Oh my goodness, viewer, listen. Oh yes, I love it. Wisdom. To focus on the past is to lose the future. Heed advice from an older person which will allow you to move on. We had this message about earth guide. Some of you guys are going to have some type of wise guide lead you in the right direction, viewer. Look at this, look at this. So spirit's helping you guys with wisdom. I mean, we know this because you are very wise viewer, okay? So spirit's gonna connect you with elevated beings as well that are also earth guides for you. And you guys are earth guides for others. Oh my goodness, I love it. This is also how spirit's helping you guys, okay? I wanna find out a potential outcome for you too, viewer. Um, let's see, a potential outcome for the viewer, a potential outcome for the viewer. Okay, let's see what this is first. <laughs> Timing is critical. A celestial gatekeeper. We need a little bit more with this. It's almost like, let's get this. Something about timing here. Because we did have that message about planning. So let's find out. I do get this message that spirit, there is this message for this outcome. A subtype of opportunity. Um, and it's, yeah, it's just more confirmation because viewer, I was, uh, picking up this energy that you guys are going to have some type of opportunity, maybe, um, you know, something new here that you're going to maybe, I don't know, maybe I did, I don't know if I said it, take a leap of faith. Who cares if I didn't? <laughs> Anyways, um, spirit's going to help you with an opportunity, but timing is going to be critical. And this is definitely someone, um, a guide and ascended master that is watching over you viewer to make sure something happens, but you got to be open to the opportunity as well. Okay. Let's see what else. I want to see what else spirit's going to give us with this. Col okay. Yeah. You guys are, you guys are going to collaborate with someone here. So there's definitely this, definitely get this vibe of a new love forming and a collaborative dreaming. So someone is dreaming about you and you're dreaming of them. There's going to be some type of um, opening and opportunity when the bond happens, when this union comes into form here. Okay. So timing is critical. Remember, there's this message about declutter and planning. Okay, because you're talking about something about time here and I just want to help you viewer. So you've got this um, potential outcome of a collaborating dream that's going to come and, and form into uh, the material realm here. I hope that was helpful viewer. Love and light. Take care.